Uh, hey guys. You guys are playing a big gig tonight at Roseland. Yeah. So Roseland Ballroom. Yes. Exciting. Exciting. Now, touring, this is your, you're touring for your third album right now, This Is War. Uh, tell me a little bit about how the tour's gone so far. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. The tour's been going pretty good so far. We've been, uh, we started this Into the Wild world tour in Europe, and now we're back in the States for the first time in three years, right? Three years, yeah. yeah. Which is very exciting for us, and uh, it's been going great. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Now, we miss it. This is like, the, this is your third album, I believe, right? Correct. Okay. Now, it, this album, it seems that you guys have really, you know, I mean, you've had a following, but this, you seem to have taken off with this, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, what's different about this record? This album, we've uh, incorporated more of the uh, fans, more of the, the listeners, and, and uh, I mean, we, we came up with, uh, my brother actually came up with the summit, which we had uh, a bunch of people come in and, and participate in the album. They were singing, chanting, stomping, beating on things, and, and uh, that went really well. So we, we made a global summit, right, Tomo? Yeah, we did. Nine different countries the around internet. the world. Yeah, nine. On right? the internet. Mm-hmm. People singing. I think to one of the main elements is like we knew we had a chance to do something very s special. We knew we had. It's almost like we didn't really just have the chance. We demanded it uh, of ourselves, and uh, we were in a really precarious place. Um, we were battling our record company. Uh, we left EMI, they sued us for 30 million bucks, the world was kind of falling apart, there was all these intense changes happening, uh, a great time for creativity, but we hunkered down and really encouraged each other to make the the record of a lifetime, and that's what This Is War is, this is it, it's everything. Um, and uh, we're very proud of the way that it turned out. Tell me well spoken. <laughs> very well spoken. Okay. It's almost like... It's a hobby, I mean, yeah. It's almost like you know what you're doing. Right. No, th this uh, obviously you're, what you're saying is that it, that in this despair there was also it, it fed a creative cycle. Yeah, I think what we've learned is is kind of the obvious, and sometimes uh, that obstacles, that challenge, that a battle, that a war uh, has its purpose, its meaning, and can make you better. And stronger. It certainly made us, I think, s closer as a band, uh, as a group of individuals working together. It helped make the song stronger and it helped make the record uh, uh, the way everything yeah. that we wanted it to yeah. be. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, Absolutely. You know, what's been exciting is, is launching this worldwide tour, which is called Into the Wild. And uh, we started in Europe in arenas, and now we've it was our first ever arena tour, so that was a huge deal for us and really exciting and humbling and just mind-blowing, and we're so grateful for that experience. Uh, in about six six or seven weeks, we were in Europe, and now we're kind of cramming that energy into these shows in America, and mm -hmm. it's been it's been a long time coming. Three, year, three years, I think maybe four years since we played uh, New York proper. Yeah, no, you're right. New York City. And uh, so it's great to return. It's great to come home. Now, in back to the writing yeah. process for this record, um, you know, you described the period. Tell me some of what came out of that. Some of the songs that you've written and what they meant while you were writing. Them. Well, with struggle comes reward, and uh, in this case, there was no shortage of creative uh, energy and. We worked with a couple of the best producers in the world. Uh, our, our first producer uh, was uh, is a guy named Flood, and he was a, a wonderful person to help us kind of set the foundation for the record. And then he, Flood, if you don't know out there, has worked with uh, U2 and Nine Inch Nails, Mashing Pumpkins, PJ Harvey, Sigur Ross, and on and on and on and on, Depeche Mode. Mm -hmm. He's made a few records that yeah. might be in your collection. And a lot of our favorite records as well. Yeah. And so we were really excited to work with him, and he just basically joined the band. And we went on this crazy adventure together. Yeah, it was cool to work with Floyd because he was so involved and so hands-on, which is not necessarily a common trait for a producer. It's nice. It was yeah. fun. He taught us a lot. 
how is that translated to your live shows? I mean, has have you stepped things up for this tour as opposed to the t tour for the second record? Oh yeah, f absolutely. I mean, I think just the songs themselves on This Is War lend themselves to stepping it up, as you said. You know, sometimes the uh, the shows feel like uh, a cross between. Uh, uh, Cirque du Soleil and, and Genghis Khan yeah. invading uh, a country. It's, mm. it's like it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's complete insanity, complete madness. And the tour is going to cover the rest of America, and we're going to go see the rest of the world as well. So come and join us if you haven't yet. Are you playing <coughs> festivals this summer? We're playing a lot of festivals in the UK and in Europe, and uh, we're very excited about that. We, uh, we're going to Japan, too? Yeah, we're going to play Summer Sonic. And mm. Oh, is that announced yet? Well, it's on the website, so... Oh, yeah. Look for it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> guess it's announced. You can go there and see it, so it's all good. <laughs> so, so with a band that has such, such a strong following and, you know, puts out quality music, I mean, no denying that. Thanks, man. Thank you. What were the influences that shaped who you guys are? Who are the musicians that you look to when you were growing up? Well, I think probably Shannon and Tomo are big influences, influencers uh, for me when making these records. But growing up, we all, you know, have a, a love for uh, a lot of classic rock bands. Um, when we were kids, we listened to everything from Fleetwood Mac to The Police mm -hmm. uh, to Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabbath. I don't really call Police a classic rock band, but uh, now I guess they are. Yeah, pretty much, when we were kids. I think they're a classic rock band. As we got older, some U2 and uh, The Cure and Depeche Mode mm -hmm. and then Nine Inch Nails and Radiohead and things yeah. like that. Nirvana, Pumpkins. Yeah. So what kind the good of stuff. Yeah. What, what kind of music would your...